Alan Chen discovered that the PJM system provided rebates that could be quite large. There were some rather odd rules, and he was trading under those rules. And there was an action initiated by the FERC Enforcement Office to treat this as market manipulation. The United States government approved the rules by which he was operating. I don't believe that uh, FERC has a case here. For over three years, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission's Office of Enforcement, FERC, has investigated the trades Alan Chen made on behalf of Powhatan Energy Fund, LLC. Powhatan has fully cooperated with the investigation, which has cost it and the U.S. taxpayer millions of dollars to date. Surprisingly, FERC recently charged Powhatan with market manipulation. Powhatan denies these charges. To expose the error of FERC's allegations, they have had 12 independent experts evaluate these claims. These 12 agree that there was no market manipulation. These experts are willing to make their analyses public. Powhatan's team of experts includes professionals and former regulators with expertise in the energy, electricity, commodity, and equity markets. The team members are the former director of enforcement at FERC who helped formulate and implement FERC's current market manipulation regulations. A former senior economist who spent over a decade working at FERC. The research director for the Harvard Electricity Policy Group. An active participant in the design, development and conduct of the PJM market since 1995. A former chief economist at the CFTC. The economist who literally wrote the book on market manipulation. An attorney who spent 18 years working at the SEC and FINRA as a market regulator. Two former chief economists and one former deputy chief economist at the SEC. Six chaired professors from major universities across the country. Ten PhDs and two attorneys. The beginning of this case can be traced back to 2010, when Alan Chen, an independent money manager, was contracted by Powhatan to trade in the electricity markets. In discussing uh, these matters, it's important to understand the market in which these activities took place. This is an electricity market in uh, the mid-Atlantic states, the so-called PJM market. PJM, in turn, is regulated by the FERC. PJM has a tariff on file at the FERC. FERC oversaw the tariff, FERC approved the tariff, FERC understands the tariff. In the course of his trading, Alan Chen discovered that the PJM system provided rebates under some circumstances for certain trades that could be quite large. It was a characteristic of the system and it was a legal characteristic of the system that was defined by the tariffs that uh, FERC had approved and under which uh, PJM operated. The policy for these rebates was discussed by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and they made an affirmative decision to go forward and implement this policy. So Alan Chen organized his trades so that he could trade only when he expected to be profitable, and he increased the size of his trades by uh, organizing spreads that wouldn't have a lot of risk exposure uh, in an attempt to maximize the profitability of the trades. After some period of time, the market monitor contacted Dr. Chen and told him to stop uh, with the uh, transactions, which he did. He was trading under those rules, and those rules were subsequently changed in September of 2010. And then there was an action initiated by the uh, FERC Enforcement Office to treat this as uh, a case of market manipulation. I find this surprising because nothing about the trades that he did are consistent with my understanding or the market's understanding of what market manipulation is. Alan Chen was a uh, wise trader who was considering all elements uh, when forming his trading strategies that I would characterize as a clear case of statistical arbitrage. I would say it should not be considered as manipulation because of the fact that it was 
anticipated by the federal regulators. It was a policy which they consciously adopted. It was a policy they knew would have these incentives and the, the trades were done in a, uh, uh, in a way which was transparent that that's what they were doing and they were capturing these incentives. They're prosecuting uh, this trading uh, by saying it's fraudulent when it's really just taking advantage of uh, rebates that were available to all and uh, were, can be earned in a legitimate, straightforward manner. Alan Chen played by the rules, by the rules approved by the very government, which is now uh, uh, prosecuting him for supposedly manipulating the rules. It is circular and it doesn't make any sense. If this conduct was happening in the securities market, I would not have pursued it because it doesn't have the indications of manipulation that I understood to be the law. Traders like Dr. Alan Chen serve as the canary in the coal mine in these markets while trading under the rules, often the traders are the ones who expose some of these inefficiencies and shouldn't be penalized for doing that. FERC should be aggressive in uh, dealing with market manipulation cases, but they should work within a framework that is consistent with the well-functioning market that we want to achieve. In this case and other cases recently, that connection between aggressive enforcement and supporting well-functioning markets is either breaking or been broken. To go back and say that what was once legal is, no, is, is illegal and we will apply that standard on an ex-ante basis and to improperly characterize uh, spread trading, statistical arbitrage as manipulative trading is simply improper and I don't believe that uh, FERC has a case here. FERCLitigation.com provides the written analysis of each of the experts and a log of the communication Powhatan has had with FERC. Powhatan encourages you to review this material. Please sign up for Powhatan's newsletter on the site and use the social media links to share the information with your friends and colleagues.